Hey, barbecue family, Kenyatta here. Next weekend, I'm gonna be cooking for the church. It's been a long time since I've cooked for such a large gathering, a large event. So I wanted to do a practice run, figured I'd kill two birds with one stone, do a video. I'm gonna be doing party wings. I have two different recipes. One of them is a lemon pepper recipe that I do quite often for my family. Another one is an old favorite that I haven't done in a long time, and it's, it's just a variation of that lemon pepper recipe, but I add Killer Hogs V Barbecue Rub to it, and it puts out a really nice flavor, but like I said, it's been a while since I've done that. So, gonna do this practice run, work out the kinks, bring you guys along for the ride so you can see how it's done. So let's get started. Now while I get the smoker up to temperature, I'm going to finish preparing these wings to get them ready to go onto the grill. So the first thing I did is I just took these party wings out of the packaging and I set them up and put them on this rack and I put them in my refrigerator and let them stay there overnight. And basically the whole purpose of this is you want to have your wings be as dry as possible. And if you look at these wings, I mean, there's just no moisture, no moisture on these wings. And that's what you want because ultimately that will help you along the way in getting a more bite through skin. A lot of times when you smoke chicken, one of the downfalls is that the skin ends up being kind of chewy, a little bit on the rubbery side. We're gonna cook these wings at a pretty high temperature, so I'm not necessarily smoking them, and I'm not grilling either, though. I'm not putting these wings directly over the heat. I'm gonna use my Vortex, and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. We've got the Vortex filled up with some lump charcoal, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to end up putting these wings around the vortex. So while I get my grill up to temperature, I'm going to finish preparing these party wings. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit both sides of these wings with some cooking spray. Today I'm using some avocado oil. You can use whatever you like. Olive oil works good, Pam, vegetable oil, whatever you've got. There's lots of ways you can do this. If you don't want to use cooking spray, you can put these wings in a bowl, put some olive oil in the bowl, toss them, mix them around with your hands. Lots of ways, basically the whole purpose here, just get these coated with some oil. And that's all I'm gonna to do to these wings right now. I'm just gonna get them back into the fridge while I wait for the grill to come up to temperature. You will see that this is a really easy cook, just a few basic steps, something that you can easily replicate on your own grill at home. Now, as you can see, I put a piece of cherry wood on top of the vortex to give it some smoke flavor. And I just set up the wings and put them all the way around the vortex. So we're not putting the wings directly over the coals, we're just putting them around the coals and cooking at 400 degrees that's kind of like high heat smoking it's not grilling but it will do a fantastic job of getting these wings cooked through and through with bite through skin that's my goal for these party wings all right it's been 12 minutes so now we're just going to get these wings turned over And notice that we still have not added any rub to these wings. So far, all we did was dry them out overnight, coat them in cooking spray, get them on the grill. I'm gonna let them go for another 12, 13 minutes, get them up to temperature. About 10 minutes have passed. Now for the next couple of minutes what I have here is I cut up a stick of butter 
and basically I'm just gonna put it over the over the coals and let this butter melt for the next few minutes. You could probably get away with half a stick of butter, but because I'm doing two types of wings, I'm gonna be putting them into two different bowls. So I wanna have enough butter to put into both bowls. So we'll check back, see how these wings, if they're up to temp in another, or I'll say another three minutes. All right, my wings are temping at over 180 degrees. This one was 183. So these wings are ready to come off of the grill. I've melted my butter. So next, I'm just gonna toss these wings around a bit, get them coated in the butter. The final step is to get the flavor onto these wings. So again, I've got two different combinations. So we've got lemon pepper. I really like this lemon pepper. This is from the Atlantic Grill Company. So I'm just gonna give it a nice healthy sprinkling and then I'm just gonna toss them around some more. And I'm gonna put even some more lemon pepper on these. And my other combination is the same lemon pepper from the Atlantic Grill Company. And then I've also added an equal amount of the barbecue rub. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just toss them around. Get some more rub on them. All right guys, so just to sum up the process, again, started off by letting these wings sit in my fridge overnight to get the skin as dry as possible. Then I coated them with cooking spray, got my grill up to 400 degrees, that's where I wanted to start it off at. Added a cherry wood chunk. You can use whatever wood flavor you like, but just to give it a little bit of smoke flavor set up the wings around the perimeter of the vortex. So not cooking them directly over those coals, putting them around the perimeter. Let them go for about 12, 13 minutes, flip them over, let it go for another 12, 13 minutes with about two or three minutes to go. I added some butter just to get the butter melted. And then once I made sure that the temperature of those wings was up to temp and basically what you're looking for with wings around 180 is a good you know is a they can take it they can take going all the way up to 180 so that's a good place to be got them off of the grill got them into the bowls with the butter gave those bowls a good toss added my rub you can use whatever rub you like today i've got two types that i really like and gave them a good toss, make sure there's good flavor all over those wings. So now there's nothing left to do but to give it a taste and see if it's as good as I remember it. With the lemon pepper. Mm. Man, the butter is dripping off of these wings. That bite through was nice and clean, not chewy. I mean, just the way I like it, this is what I was looking for. And what I really like about the Atlanta Grill Company's lemon pepper rub, you really taste the lemon. You get that zest, that zesty citrus flavor comes through. The lemon zest combined with the saltiness and the pepper it's a wonderful combination. Now this is one that I came up with a few years ago, but I haven't cooked it in a while. Combination of lemon pepper with the barbecue rub. Mm. And what I love about this, you get that 
additional sweetness from the barbecue rub combined with the lemon pepper. Again, I love how that skin is, is bite through. It's not chewy, not rubbery. All right, guys, I think this is a winning combination in this process, easy to follow. Give it a shot. I think you'll come out really happy with your wings. And again, you can do whatever flavor profiles that you like. It's really the process that's the key. This process ensures that you will get nice bite through skin on that chicken. So let me know what you think. If you give it a shot, let me know how it turned out. Love to hear from you guys in the comments. And while you're at it, Click the link in the description. That'll take you to my website. Sign up for my newsletter to ensure that you don't miss any new videos when I drop them. Once again, this is Kenyatta Robinson. Thank you for joining me on my Backyard Smoke Master Barbecue channel. Get out there, enjoy your grills and smokers. I'll see you in the next one.